Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So when I was learning Emacs two years ago, I faced a lot of troubles because Emacs is pretty complicated for beginners and most beginners just end up using Doom Emacs or Space Max, which they think like they can be cool and they can just use Emacs out of the box, but they skip the all the basic stuff which they need in order to use Emacs. They skip the part where they learn Emacs and stuff like that. Don't do this, okay? If you want to use Emacs, just understand this thing so in this video i will try to explain you some basic concept which is literally going to you know uh, basically the right mindset of learning emacs okay so the first thing which always like i find like most beginner beginners do wrong is basically they learn uh, about key bindings too much they focus on key bindings like a lot they believe like they have to learn every key binding but this is not true to be honest you don't even have to care about key bindings you have to care about learning functions because key binding is just a way to run some functions and you can just run those functions without any key binding. This is the fun part. So for example, if you want to find some file, there are two ways. One way is you press some key binding. You press control X and then control F and this is going to give you this prompt here and ignore this. This is just because I increased the font and that's the problem. So it's, just, it's a prompt. You can just search for the file. So let's search for code and then pounds and some file like client.c and voila you open the file we find the file okay the file is open now how cool is that but this is not how you should do when you're learning so my suggestion is just just instead of doing you know control x and control f just press this thing which is meta x what is meta meta means alt in emacs everything is just running a command basically so you don't really need you know even if you are moving a cursor this is basically running a command under the hood which is written in e list by the way so instead of doing control x control f you can just press um, meta x which is going to allow you to run any command and if you do tab as you can see there are so many commands all right and uh, you are not going to learn all these commands but you should know about these commands you should know like every time you run some key binding you just run some command which is here all right so i'm just going to type find again just press tab and it, as you can see there are so many options so there is this option which is find file so let's try to just try run find file okay and press enter this just did the same thing and again uh, type uh, code bounce and client.c and voila we have this file so everything you do in emacs is basically some command and when you start learning these commands you will realize like you understand everything in emacs it's not a hard thing okay so for example look at all these commands basically this is what you're dealing with if you're running some browser well it's one of these commands basically everything is just going to belong here if you type butter and uh, this is basically a command all right so yes all right so this is crazy so for example if you want to kill this thing well instead of pressing ctrl x and k which is going to kill the buffer you can just press meta x and then type kill and then buffer okay so this is the command to kill the buffer and press enter and that's it again want to kill something like kill the buffer okay just you know run the command meta x and then kill buffer all right we killed the buffer if you want to see the list of buffers now oh, wait a minute what is buffers well this is the second thing right this is the second thing which confused me a lot what is buffers and what is windows because this is where every noob got confused imagine if you open some file all right so again find file and okay i suck at typing so just type a.c this file doesn't exist but it doesn't matter emacs is going to create this file now this buffer is the name of this buffer is basically a.c and it's written here all right so you can read this buffer name uh, is like this is the buffer name all right emacs is telling us this is a buffer name and what is buffer anywhere you write text anywhere you write text buffer is basically an object which uh, contain text okay so this is what how i will define buffer and it's a somewhat accurate definition so if you open some file it's a buffer if you are looking at the home page which is basically this one uh, this one this is a buffer and right now in emacs there are more than five buffers are open but you are just saying one and let me tell you pros who use emacs on daily basis sometimes they have more than hundreds of buffer open they do a lot of stuff and this is great okay i just love 
this thing about emacs you just write open a buffer write the whatever you want to write or code whatever and just switch the buffer some other file or something so buffer is like tabs uh, you know not like tabs it's a lot more so here's the here's the fun thing okay let me open another window okay so in order to open some another window so right now we have this window but i want a split screen here so in order to get this split screen uh, there is a key binding which is control x and 2 if you want a vertical split but instead of doing this again we are going to run the command okay so window split okay so there is nothing like this split window all right mode okay there's no mode let's just press tab and as you can see it's like uh split window blue split window right it's split horizontally what okay just type right and voila we got two windows okay let's call this window um john and this window um bob so we got john here we got bob here john have a dot c buffer open okay so the buffer inside this window which is john is a dot c and the buffer inside this window is also a dot c this is bob so the windows are different but the buffer is same okay so this is the biggest like i got so confused with this thing i always feel like what is the difference between windows and buffer but the difference is in front of you okay windows are different but the buffer is same and here's another thing okay so let's just uh, kill this buffer so i'm going to kill this buffer right now so the question is what will happen let's just kill this and it's going to be like modified or whatever just forcefully yes and the buffer got closed in both these files because even though uh, the buffer was open in both the window it's the same buffer okay so let's open some another file here in this window or whatever code pounds xtg xtg c so i'm about to open this file and so this is a buffer okay this is a buffer and this is a buffer too so the home page which we see when we open emacs this is a buffer too and this buffer is gnu emacs and this buffer is xtg.c how cool is that now let me open the list of buffers okay so in order to open the list buffer again meta x list buffers press enter and here you can see like we got this list i was expecting list here but okay fine so we got like one two three four five five buffers open right now okay and this is basically another buffer buffer list but it's not mentioned here because it makes no sense but you can basically manage all your buffers from this list you can kill any buffer you can you know open some buffer okay the window is just like a frame and basically the buffer is something which you can open inside a window all right so if you open one buffer in multiple windows so if here if i do like control x in b so it's going to ask for switching buffer and by default it's xtg.c so whatever the last buffer is open it's going to just offer you that but i'm just going to type the you know um, buffer list buffer list so we got like so this is just a buffer okay so here we got buffer here we got buffer and if i kill this buffer so again meta x kill buffer all right it's going to get killed in both so this is this is cool like this is like this is i love the buffer concept in emacs all right so you can just basically run all these fancy commands like if you want to remove this menu bar then menu bar mode and this is just going to remove the menu bar and everything is just command you don't really have to care about you know learning key bindings first because once you understand key uh, commands you can just bind keys according to you if you like like you are just independent of doing whatever you want to do so let's do this buffer versus window thing last time because this is really like oh god i, I got so confused when i was learning emacs so let me open you know okay i i opened uh, all right so three three windows here and uh, so here i'm going to open some files so code and then pounds oh, okay so i'm literally just opening the make file okay so we have we have this file here and the file is basically the buffer and the buffer name is make file okay so we got this make file here inside this window so again if i call this window john and if i change the buffer okay so if i open some file like uh, client.c okay not client.c something else like uh, dispatch.c so just just notice one thing okay 
The window is still John, but the buffer is changed. Buffer is not dispatch dot C. The buffer is changed. Okay, so buffer is window is just something which holds the buffer. And I got so confused with this concept. I don't know why, but maybe I am just dumb for or something. Okay, so here are the, uh, my tips. Don't use Doomy Max. Don't use Space Max. Don't even dare before you know if something is black box. Just don't go for it. First, understand how things are working. How like how what is the thing is most if you are using Doomy Max, you are basically trying top to bottom approach, which is not so good. You should always uh, first you know understand the basics, and after you understand basic, you really get very comfortable using anything. Okay, so after you get the basic, you can you know just keep growing. So use functions. Don't use key bindings first. Just use arrow keys or something. Try to understand Emacs instead of just using Emacs as soon as possible. Okay, just try to understand things, understand the concept of buffers, and try to learn a little bit Lisp, because in Emacs every not Lisp basically Elisp. So Lisp is a very pro old programming language, and Elisp is just a variant of that programming language, which is basically Emacs Lisp, and every function. In Emacs is written in E Lisp basically, and you can even write a E Lisp program which will run every time you open your Emacs. So in that particular program, you can install some package. Uh, Emacs even have his own package manager. So yeah, there are a lot of programs written in E Lisp which you can install for your Emacs via you know package manager, which is Melpa basically. So. But again, the basic is uh, just stick with commands. Understand just one key binding, meta x. Okay, that's all you need. And the other key binding is you know control G. In case if you do some mistake, control G is going to save you. Okay, so this is my tips while learning Emacs, and this is what, like this is the biggest challenge for me to understand some basic stuff. So you can use some documentation via GNU and Emacs wiki. So these are like two best places uh, in order to learn. And obviously the stake overflow and groups IRC and everything is there. So you can just, uh, you know what, every time I get struck, uh, I just go to IRC and I just ask with Emacs people. So there are people who are always willing to help. If you don't want to do IRC, you can also go Telegram. Telegram group is absolutely like amazing. People are really awesome. They always help. So just go and learn Emacs. It's going to change your life.